BMEC is pleased to introduce our uh, MX4 running software version uh, 2.0. Uh, this is just the next evolution of our metrics analytic color sorter. So first I'll kind of walk through the mechanical improvements. You'll notice that uh, our monitor is now on this nice articulating arm, which gives you the, you can adjust the height as well as the position um, to any side of the machine, on the front or side. You also notice that the machine is fully enclosed. So here we have, it's, 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 this enclosure um, keeps all the dust inside as well as reduces the overall noise. Access to the machine is still very simple for training. Just open the back door. You can drop product down for training, or if you need additional access, the side panels can slide off. Uh, now that we've kept the dust inside uh, with the addition of the cover that's not shown here, we have a fully integrated dust collection. So we get the dust from underneath and before through those vents and pull here. And then also we collect dust um, from the general area using uh, this connection. And then they're all union together on top of the machine. So you'd customer bring their three inch and we'd bring our two, two, and then another two to go into the top. Another improvement that you might've noticed is the way we uh, contain the seed completely in our hopper. So the seed is, um, there's, there is seed in the hopper now, but it's fully contained uh, with our new gating mechanism. We have a slight slide gate. Um, and so you can see the seeds present uh, and it's fully contained. And I'll show you how that works for faster operation and better clean out. To verify complete seed clean out, we've implemented um, two new technologies. We have our, uh, our feeder pan clean out, which we've had before, as well as our flap clean. But now we've put in two cylinders. That way we pop the flap open evenly. In addition to that, we have a, um, a vibrator that shakes the feeder to make sure that there's nothing stuck in the hopper. And then the light is coming, that you see here is coming from our, our clean out camera. So that's a camera that's looking here at the pan uh, to verify that there's no product left and also triggers the clean out for uh, the best operation possible. So here we have the sample uh, in place, fully enclosed as I mentioned. Uh, I'm gonna run a sample, watch the speed that, that starts down the chute and cleans out at the end. There it ran a uh, 2,345 seed sample in 20 seconds. And of course, as always, you get all the data associated with that run. In addition to the mechanical improvements, speed of operation, of course, the sorting improvements, uh, we're working hard to improve the, the software uh, for, um, for the user management. So here I'm logged in as the manager we have the ability now to um, log out, which would limit the access. So here we're logged in as an unknown person. And then if I log back in as a manager, it will give me the ability to set up new users. So I can set up new users. And for each one of those users, I can tell that user, uh, you know, what, what they have access to at the recipe level or support level and so on and so forth. So it'll be fully configurable. You have the ability to add new users, so you can have generic ones and give one password to multiple people, or you can have um, uh, everybody have their own password. In addition, we've made many improvements on the ability to sort. So here, uh, for our color classifiers, they're much easier to train, again, by dropping seed, but you can adjust them easier and um, train them that way. 
And then of, of course, um, you know, we have the ability to do the visualization um, as before. So if I wanted to uh, catch a seed, drop it down the chute, and I have the ability to zoom in on that seed and see what uh, all the uh, the values for for that are. So it helps me adjust uh, my settings easier. And then the image is is um, a better, higher quality image. It's a better fidelity. In addition, your sorting options. You can uh, sort by uh, length, width, roundness. We've added a group parameter where you can uh, uh, add multiple categories together and sort with one threshold. So lots of improvements on the software side as well as the mechanical. Uh, charts, of course, I mentioned earlier. And on the analytics, you know, we have the ability to, as always, be able to plot by length, for example, or any of the parameters that we're outputting. So additional software uh, um, features were added for recipe management. So of course, you know, we have the ability to analyze the seed as discussed previously. Um, but we also have the ability to uh, make global uh, recipes. So here you can either make a custom one or we can have global or factory ones, both for our color classifier or our vision parameters. So this will, be allow, this will allow you to um, implement uh, global standards. And then using our recipe management, or I'm sorry, our user management, you can lock people out from changing that. So you'll be able to uh, load those, uh, as well as uh, additional support information. Uh, so here you can see you know, the, uh, the amount of time the feeder's been running, how long the lights have been working, and every ejector, how many times it's actually blasted for um, maintenance um, considerations, PM scheduling and such. You have the ability to request remote support uh, if it's connected to an internet connection. And then uh, there's various uh, improvements uh, to other functionality. So this video was just designed to give you a basic introduction to mechanical and software improvements on the metrics, uh, the MX4 running 2.0 software. Uh, more details to follow soon. Thank you.